When you want to see an exact value from an exact time in your Pi system, you'll be using the archive value query. That's when you get a single value at a particular time of the past of some item in your data in your Pi system. So what I have here is I have a data item, so this is a fuel gas flow, and I'm asking for what the value is at 8 a.m. And here's the results, around 25,888. And how do I do this? That's what we're going to see how to do right now. So it starts off with, you just on your, on your sheet, you'll write in um, what data item you're interested in. And you'll click search. So click search up here, and I'm in my AF tree, and I can go and can browse around. And you would browse and find a pie tag in much the same way. But once I find something I'm interested in, I can double click on it, and it's brought onto my sheet. And then next I need to know what time I'm asking for, so I type in time and I'll put a timestamp. So how about 9 a.m. now? And then all I need to do is just put my cursor where I want my data to go and go click on this archive value button. And now I'm just going to link these up. So I click on data items and I click on the data item spot, click on timestamp and I click on the timestamp spot. And I say time at left if I want to see the time. I hit apply. And there it is. Got it right there. And all I did was I linked up the timestamp to that and the data item to this spot, and the output cell is right there. Okay? And we get an exact timeout. Now, well, another thing you might want to do is get a whole set of Pi, um, Pi data items out at once. So to do that, all we'll do is do a search, and now you'll select a couple of these. So maybe we want to select a list. And in order to make this a little bit cleaner on my sheet, I'm going to use my root path length and put it out on my sheet just like this. And now this root path is separated, and I, I don't need the rest of these. So you can see now, like before, this, this attribute was part of this whole, this whole path, and now it's separated apart, so we can just look at that attribute. And I can put these right here. And all I need to do is put my cursor where I want my data to go, put an archive value in, and then select all these data items. So now there's this range here. And then I'm going to click on root path, click on root path, timestamp. I'm going to use my timestamp from before. So let's see here, we got timestamp, data items are all these, and root path is right here. And then my output cell is where my output's going to go, and I say time at left and apply, and I can see all the archive values for all of these these points at nine at nine a.m. And if I go up and I change the time I'm asking for, all of my archive value queries will update. Ain't that something?